Hi everyone, my name is Ben Nail. My name is Jean Chow. And today we're going to show you the setup we use in our lab to take our photoelectrochemical measurements. When we're ready to measure the properties of a photocatalyst sample, we dispense a film of the material onto a conductive substrate, like glass coated with fluorine doped tin oxide, then place it into this electrochemical cell that contains an electrolyte solution, a platinum counter electrode seen here on the left, and a saturated calomel reference electrode seen on the right. Next, we apply a voltage bias to the film using a special power source called a potentiostat and measure the current response caused by chemical reactions occurring at the illuminated photocatalyst surface. To irradiate our photocatalyst during measurements, we typically use a 300 watt xenon lamp focused by a fiber optic cable, seen here in the upper left hand corner, or for visible light only, we use a 435 nanometer LED powered by an external power supply. This is a linear sweep voltammogram of nano-sized tungsten oxide on FTO substrate, chopped xenon light source. You see the anodic photocurrent as a positive current measurement when the light's irradiated on the film. Here we're measuring a dark cyclic voltammogram of our tungsten oxide film. And what you're seeing is an increase in anodic current related to the oxidation of water. Here we see a completed voltammogram for tungsten oxide with potentials versus the normal hydrogen electrode. It shows anodic photocurrents as high as 900 microamps per square centimeter that taper off as we scan from more oxidizing potentials on the right to more reducing ones on the left. At about 0.36 volts positive, the photocurrent becomes so small it can no longer be observed, and the potential value corresponding to that feature, labeled here as onset, gives us information about the energy of the material's Fermi level.